Hey guys, Carl here from ElitePromoter.com. Hope you're all well out there. This video is all about YouTube keyword research, and in this video, you're going to learn how to find keywords that are, that are highly profitable, that have got high search volume, but are easy to rank for. They've got low competition, and that's a pretty tall order. And for this, I'm going to use a tool called TubeBuddy, which is a free browser extension um, that will let us explore keywords and let us find the difficulty of them before we we start to make a video so i'm going to assume that you've installed this because it's free why not and we're going to jump straight into this and i'm going to show you how it works okay so once you've installed tubebuddy you're going to be presented with this search explorer which is on the right hand side this will show up every time that you search in youtube at the top you'll get this this come up and this is really just showing you the keyword difficulty okay and, and the approximate search volume a keyword gets so for the term affiliate marketing the search volume is high but the competition is also very high there's a lot of people that are using affiliate marketing in their tags their video tags their descriptions you can see these are being bolded here they've got them in their titles and there's some big channels that are, that are actually uh, ranking for this this keyword okay so it says it's a very highly competitive term it also, if we scroll here, the most used tags. So for all of the top ranking videos, these are the tags that they're using. Affiliate marketing for beginners, how to affiliate marketing, make money online. And you can actually look at these individually as well, clicking on these icons, which I'll, I'll take a look at in just a second. Before we go any further, let's talk about the, the actual theory of, of, of SEO and what you need to be doing when you start out. Because one, one of the biggest mistakes you know, I mean, I've been doing SEO for 10 years now, and one of the biggest mistakes that I see people do is they'll try and rank for a keyword that's, one, is too competitive, and secondly, it's got no commercial intent. It carries no commercial intent. The people searching for the term are just purely looking for information. They haven't got their wallet in their hand. They're not about to purchase anything, and so even if you rank for it, you've got a deal on trying to sell them something. If, you, if we take the term how to lose belly fat for example if we ranked a blog or a video for how to lose belly fat the people that are searching for that they could be looking at diet pills they could be looking at diet advice they could be looking for exercise advice if it just goes on okay so we want to use keywords that are, that are easy to uh, easy to rank for and carry commercial intent they're the two things if you get that right you'll make money online um, with seo so Affiliate marketing is such a broad topic. If we press spacebar, I've got rid of it now. Yeah, so as I'm typing, so affiliate, mar affiliate marketing, these are the suggested searches. And we're presuming that these are the 10 most suggested searches, okay? If we type the letter A, you get all the searches beginning with the letter A after that. B, C, D, and you could go right through the alphabet doing that. Or you could go on to uh, Keyword IO, which is a free tool. You click on YouTube and you type in, um, what was we looking at, affiliate marketing. Select your country, click search. And this will do that for you. This will this will basically scrape the whole of YouTube um, to, find, uh, to find keywords, longer tail keywords, okay? So these are gonna be easy to rank for. So we've got this one, affiliate marketing Amazon, for instance. We could copy that. And we could uh, just just to show you, sorry, how this works. Like I said, it, it scrapes basically ba based on the letters as we scroll down. You can see that, and it also um, puts a few modifiers in there, such as best in front of it. Because going back to commercial intent, anybody that's searching for best something, buy something, review something, they're all they've all got a credit card in hand. They're all ready to buy. Okay, so going back to this example, we said uh, affiliate marketing Amazon. It's not the best keyword, but let's just have a quick look at that anyway. Um, sorry, bear with me. So affiliate marketing. Can't spell. Affiliate marketing Amazon. And here we go again. So the Search Explorer said it's got mediocre search volume and there's a lot less competition. So it's giving us a score of 71 out of 100. And the whole point is really is that you want to be if you, if you wanted to compete for this term, you need to be coming up with a better, uh, better, more clickable image than the top sort of five, five ranking things. It's all about CTR, as I've explained in my guide on Elite Promoter. Um, the, the more clicks your thumbnail gets, 
that's one ranking factor, one, one ranking signal. And the more engagement you get, which is comments, likes, subscribes, uh, views, you know, view percentage. If you can get those things right, then you're going to have a good chance of, of um, beating the competition. OK, so can you come up with a better thumbnail than this? Pretty sure you can. Um, if we go back to affiliate marketing, this guy here, this ODI Productions, he's nailed it. I've, I've already talked about this in my guide. You know, he's using a Porsche, he's using a Lambo, he's got arrows everywhere. If you're in the business of wanting to make money online, you can't really ignore these uh, these thumbnails. They really stick out. Um, he's using uh, different frames as well, which makes it, you know, as you scroll through, they really stand out. So, yeah, to beat these guys, you need to come up with a real good clickable image. And I'm presuming most of you out there don't want to rank for affiliate marketing. So let's let's talk about something else and, and give us an example. So if you was promoting uh, More Niche, which is one network that I've worked with for you know for nearly ten years now, uh, they they've got uh, the Crazy Bolt range, which is uh, steroids, um, legal legal steroids basically. Um, there's no steroids in them; <laughs> they're legal alternatives. If you wanted to build a build a, a video that's going to tap into that traffic instead of trying to rank for steroids, which if we put that in is going to show super high search volume but super high competition and again no commercial intent these are people just looking for information if we wanted to rank for best legal steroids which is you know that's going to carry intent these are people that they're ready to buy something you know they're typing best in and we can see the search volume is low competition isn't too bad um this would be a better keyword to to go for we could also check in keyword io we could put steroids in here and the idea really is just to just to bang some of these. You know, if you see anything like this one, best steroids for beginners. Uh, look for something with commercial intent and run this through TubeBuddy just to see what the search volume is in the competition. Then what you want to be doing is copying the tags of the guys that's ranking. Uh, so we've got this guy here. So let's have a look at this. First one. This is a top ranking video. When we click on this video, this TubeBuddy changes to this video lytics which gives you some social signals, what the channel's got in terms of views and subscribers and videos is uploaded. But more than anything, it's got these tags. And this is what he's tagged his video with. These are the keywords that he's using. We can click on show search rankings and that will fill these out. Okay, so he's ranking for best legal steroids, legal steroids, best steroid supplement. <clears throat> we can copy these. We can actually copy these to a clipboard and we can use these in our own video when we upload our own video. Okay. and. A good practice really would be to look at the the top ranking videos and actually just use the most used tags in your own video. Okay, so all these videos, the top ones are using legal steroids as a tag, bodybuilding, steroids, muscle, supplements. Copy those to the clipboard and actually use them yourself in your own videos. And also, one other thing that I've not covered is um, a feature in the Tag Explorer. So the Tag Explorer is just just what we what we're seeing here on this right hand side this uh, search explorer when we look for a keyword this will actually put it in this little box for you if you wanted to just quickly go through a few so best legal steroids explore same information exactly the same information we, we can just copy these to the clipboard but also it's got this trending okay and this is really good so if i go back to a, a broad topic like affiliate marketing and we explore the trending keywords this will this will search Google Trends and Google.com for breakout phrases now the beauty of these is these are highly searched for because they they something's just come out something's just generating a load of search and they've got ultra low competition and if you if you've watched any of my videos before you might remember one where I talked about how I made uh, $15,000 in, in a single day which was just really being on a keyword really had been at the right place at the right time but there was just a huge amount of search that kicked off for a product and I and I ranked first for you know so there was no competition at the time there's only me that was ranking for this and this is a really good way if you've got a brand new channel and you just want to pick up some search traffic and start growing that channel look for trending queries look for breakouts at the moment we've got affiliate marketing on Instagram is a breakout you know this this might have less competition maybe Okay, yeah, so good search volume, low competition. This would be a good thing to crack into. So for whatever niche that you're in, just check that trending, and that is in Tag Explorer. 
So guys, I hope this video has helped. Uh, there's some other really, really good features about TubeBuddy. You can actually split test thumbnails to see which is the, the winning one uh, in terms of click-through rate, which is amazing. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to TubeBuddy. It is an affiliate link, obviously. I'm an affiliate uh, in the description. Uh, you don't pay any more, but I make a little bit of money for helping you guys out. And if you want the actual blueprint to YouTube Mastery, the rest of this course is on my forum, ElitePromoter.com. Uh, there's a seven dollar trial on there at the moment if you want to come and check us out and see what it's all about it'd be great to see you there and hope to see you on another video thanks for watching guys